welcome back now we're doing the recording of 23rd of november's holy blessing now this way of serving other people one of the ways is to talk and spread the knowledge but god says there's something which is required more and that is having a clean and clear intention and with that the vibrations which reach to other people are going to be very strong so the message goes along with the right kind of vibrations so it's like giving a sandwich to somebody without anything inside it that's like just giving knowledge and then having some stuffing in the sandwich in between that's more better right so the vibrations are that stuffing and the bread is that knowledge so bread is also known as mana or also known as the life force for the soul it's not a physical bread it's an energy or it's food for the soul or mana for the soul so god over here he has a message for us that we should serve everybody else with a double serving attitude let's explore what exactly that is god says may you be a double server and together with serving with words also serve with your attitude of spreading spiritual vibrations so just as you serve with words in the same way together with words also serve with your attitude service will then take place fast because you can forget words with time but you cannot but you cannot put a stamp on minds and intellect without your vibrations so you can only put a stamp on minds and intellects with your vibrations you see sometimes we generally say that words can make or break somebody's heart right you can fake your words also but with a intention which is not right the other person can pick up your vibrations that maybe you're not being truthful completely and that is what is god saying that are you trying to give those suggestions or give out those words to people with a wrong intention behind it with a wrong energy behind it then those words will not impact them now most importantly what the father says that if your intentions are right and your words are accurate that's the time that the souls will feel it they'll feel the intensity of your vibrations as compared to just listening to your words so they'll have more impact it will be like imprinted on their mind so in order to do the service do not have any wasteful vibrations for anyone in your attitude so you're talking to somebody you're saying or giving a suggestion and at the back of your mind you're thinking this person is not going to change i'm wasting my time or this person has this negative attitude i wish i could change him god says no you have to look at the purer and powerful side of that soul have a right attitude have the right intention and then your thoughts will be able to pierce through that soul as compared to being stuck in your own mind so the intensity of a thought or the frequency of a thought which is pure and powerful is longer as compared to a thought in which you are doing the same thing but the time is wasted you see same words but no impact time is wasted why because wasteful thoughts were there this person is not going to listen to me or this person i have to say it but you know i know it he's not going to do it if we have this kind of attitude god says then your words are not going to serve that person that your words are not going to help that person out don't we experience the same thing when it comes to kids for parents whenever they tell the kids to do something at the back of their mind they're like i've told them 10 15 times 20 times 100 times i've told this person this child of mine but he doesn't listen to me and the first thing which you ask them is when you were going to tell that to the child or you going to give that suggestion to your child what was going at the background you know it's like a laptop or your computer or your windows something is working at the background a virus is working in the background and it is showing you the same application but it's actually the virus which is playing the application and you are like oh wow my program is running wonderfully well 
and slowly slowly the virus is spreading faster but the windows which opens up is exactly your explorer or exactly your application but what is running at the back the virus and same thing happens over here we actually sending the virus into the other soul is not good enough she's never going to listen to me my daughter is like this or my husband is always like this any number of amount of times i tell this person is not going to change and this is what god is saying don't run the virus in your mind and then give out that suggestion it's not going to work so with this ego with its cursing somebody before suggesting them is actually a curse isn't it he is not going to listen to me he is never going to change is saying that you are actually giving a curse is saying that you are never going to change but let me say it out because it's my duty to say it god says you are wasting your energy while doing that you are wasting your time while doing that so why not use the energy purify it that means to remove the virus in the background cleanse the virus quarantine the virus and then run the program how about that so this is what god wants us to do then he says so in order to do the service do not have any wasteful vibrations for anyone in your attitude wasteful vibrations become a wall in front of your spiritual vibrations that means your message will not go across therefore keep your mind and intellect keep your mind and intellect in the intellect we store memories of the past and that's where we bring it out that this person will is never going to change so god is saying clean that mind and intellect and therefore keep your mind and intellect free from wasteful vibrations for only then will you be able to do this double service so you can't be taking one step forward and two steps back so two steps back is like mm -hmm, i'm wasting my energy it's i've told this person so many times but him coming late is never going to change and that's what you are actually doing tathastu you're saying amen you're saying you're saying so be it so what is the effort why do you want to say it even why not to put the right energies and then say it isn't that a difference isn't that the right method isn't that a right way of even opening a laptop and observing the right kind of programs instead of having the wrong virus behind it which is actually making a fool out of you so actually you're making a fool out of the person whom you're trying to say well why don't you come on time tomorrow it's good if you can come on time tomorrow you know we'll be happy the office will run on time you can you can do your work on time and at the back of the mind you think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's a waste of time and that is what god is saying change that attitude and then see the difference and with this om shanti